All right, I will share with you now my uh, top view screen. Hopefully, I'm going to try to expand this for myself, and I'm really hoping that it works without uh, freezing up. It did. I called the Geek Squad and um, had them come in and end up fixing my so I don't know why this is there they came in and fixed it to speed it up a little a little I don't feel like it's going that fast but it's better than it was so we're going to be happy with that this is a sample from the aerated pre-composter I've only been charging it with air morning and night kind of to stimulate the same effect of maybe turning it, even though I wouldn't be turning it morning and night. Um, so I'm just charging it with air from the atmosphere twice a day, three times a day, depending on how often I go in there. Um, it's not reaching the temperatures I would like it to see it. Um, it's only 130 in like one spot, center all the way at the top. Um, so I'm not sure why that temperature is not this is a 400 total magnification here and I notice um, at this day three ish there's a lot of white in there which is um, showing the actinobacteria development uh, I can't determine if it's more than normal because um, don't know really what normal is except for that in a large pile I think the super hot temperatures above the 130 range help keep those actinobacteria lower. I think my temperature is my problem here. I'm not understanding though, I, I guess I might know is because I'm only charging it with the air twice a day. I should run air through it continually and then I would probably see a difference in that weight be lower because there's more oxygen getting in there. I think the fact that the microbes are just multiplying so fast that it is zapping the oxygen from there, causing it to go anaerobic. Now, let's take some notes here on what we see. Um, I have definitely seen an increase in the number of coxibacteria, those this round shape, um, seeing much, much of that, which I'm not normally seeing in a lot of my slides um, that I looked at before, they were kind of lower in numbers. Um, here's a, probably an, an amoebae cyst, an amoebae cyst, and an amoebae cyst, probably amoebae cyst here. Um, these could also be ciliate cysts. I need to get better at zooming in and out on those to look at their um, outer cell wall. They look single-celled, so they're probably more of a ciliate cyst than an amoebae cyst. Um, but this one <clears throat> is maybe more of a, this almost said the double wall there, maybe a double wall here and a double wall here would look more like an, an amoebae cyst. And then these here with the single and a single would be more of a ciliate cyst trained to think. I wouldn't think there would be that many, <clears throat> excuse me, ciliates in there to begin with to see that many. Um, because it, I don't believe this, any of this would have been in a low oxygen environment to really promote those. So probably most likely amoebae cysts. Um, there. And so you'll see everything is going into its inactive state. Those cysts mean, okay, they are getting ready to weather the storm. I'm just, I'm just scrolling on up here into the top layers of this slide. There's a very, there's depth here that we have to get through. I am seeing some actinobacteria there. Um, at the top, 
And then as I come down through, I'm seeing some more strands. They're so, so small. It's almost like you, you can't see it on your end with your cam. I mean, the way that I guess this camera doesn't get the image to you, but if you can look very carefully, maybe you can see this. Let me see if I can get my annotations up to come up. They never want to. So still, even now, my computer may not be working right to get those to. I don't know. I should have a pencil and all these drawing tools that I can uh, show you. And they won't come up. So I'm not sure why. One minute they do, the next minute they don't. So what's this big thing down here? Mm -hmm. oh, it's maybe a fungal spore. <laughs> Something I can see. Wait, well, you can see internally some stuff in there. Just the color makes me think of a fungal spore. So <clears throat> right here, there's this long strand. And that's an actinobacteria. And that's what a lot of that white stuff in my tank is covering all of the material there at the top. Um, and even when you dig down in, I'm getting it. So I got to work that out. I got to work that out. Please, if you let me know if you've been doing this for a long time, what in the world is possibly... I like the lower temperatures, though, because, I mean, but I got to get it up to that 130 throughout the entire pile, and I'm just not there, the tank. I'm just not there um, to help kill the seeds and the pathogens. Um, it is very interesting, though, to kind of monitor this to see what happens. Oh, so right here in the center, dead center, is a really good, I feel like, a double wall type look to that um, cyst right here. If I zoom in and out, it's just kind of a really thick, um, these smaller ones are normally these flagellate cysts here and here. Um, size is how we determined that and uh, whether it has a single or double outer cellular wall. Um, but just a lot of round, see all these round dots, that's all your coxy bacteria. They're the ones in there right now creating all that heat because they're just multiplying like nobody's business. So I see a lot of cysts. I mean, just, you know, one here, one here, go over one here, one here. This looks like something here. Cysts, though, they're inactive, so they don't get counted. They do nothing for us when they're asleep. <laughs> but for right now, we want them to sleep resting until we cool this back down and then they can become active again they are shielding themselves and protecting themselves from these temperatures mm, this gigantic one here may be a maybe cyst i hardly would think that a um it's huge I hardly think that I'm looking for small hair structures coming off of it, which I'm not seeing. Let me look in my microscope to see if I can get a better view. Yeah, I'm actually not getting much of a better view. So I think that's a maybe cyst. Okay. Um, I don't think it's a ciliate cyst. It's very much a single wall though, very thin. So I think it may be like a naked amoebae cyst. How they, I've seen them, they get that big circular shape. Um, nothing fast moving in here. This is definitely 
slowing down, but the bacterial numbers are, are multiplying greatly. You can see that. But so far, I haven't seen any motion from anything anywhere. Lots of super um, glowing cysts here. I mean, if you could see, pick out cyst, 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 cyst. So we're going to have lots of things come active as soon as this tank mm, cools down. It's very interesting, though, just to watch the different things that, uh, like these must be the thermophile, thermophiles, so they can survive during these higher temperatures. So this cyst here in the center, you can see it looks like there's a double, double wall there. It's pretty um, distinct. So that's an amoebae cyst. Uh, this one here almost looks like an arcella. Sorry. <laughs> moving it around but do you see it's all those aggregates around it like that but I don't see the opening and I'm sure that's because she's got it packed closed it looks almost like an opening there but it's packed closed probably because it wants to go dormant mm, very interesting I see lots of um actinobacteria there's some here in the bottom of the picture Lots of bacteria. All those teeny tiny circles are the coccybacteria. Maybe lots of cysts. Um, Something's moving there. But I don't know what that could be that would be doing that. And it's not coming into view well enough to show anything. Huh. Interesting. Okay, so I will show you this. I took one drop from the sample itself that I shook up. There's really long actinobacteria in this here, long strand. Um, then I put one drop of the sample and one drop of the water to dilute it down because it is so, it was so concentrate of super high so we have this beneficial bacteria i mean uh, fungal strand it's darker in color than the background and then you can see the septa yep okay so the goal is just this <laughs> look at a million samples see what's different between them why you think there's a difference what kind of bacteria you can find and identify what are the um, best uh, environmental type there's a really nice looking double cell wall there mm -mm. Um, Get you my pointer going. Yeah, right there. Just a nice double cell wall that you can see for the I mean the cyst. Um just kind of look and see what temperatures they like best. Um the coxiox obviously like to be in the thermophilic temperatures because they're really thriving here now, and they will continue to break down these um, materials. 
So really that's about, you know, what I kind of predominantly see here. Just all kinds of them. I don't really see too many streptococci. Um, no real bacillus. I mean, some filamentous strands, but they must either be dormant or something and not moving. I mean, there's some that look something like, but maybe some small, small, small ones that are hard. Yeah, you just have to really look in the microscope more than this camera. I believe I can zoom in. Let's zoom and see if it makes it any difference. Uh, we'll go 200. Okay, that brings it a little larger. We can see any really better. I don't know. Um, I think any larger and it's going to probably get more blurry. Let's see. Um, let's see for some bacillus, maybe I'm trying to get it to come into view. Um, I can see. All right. Here's my pointer. I'm going to show you like a bacillus strand here, a bacillus strand, uh, one here. Oh, some of these aren't really in good view, but this looks like a bacillus here. It's just not super clear. It's just, I wish, if I were to dilute this down more, we could uh, focus in on one here. It looks like a maybe possible diplobacillus. It kind of looks like there's a break right there. I would have to get my eyes under the microscope and do some really good zooming in and out. But I'm going to say diplobacillus. I see coxy. Not really a streptobacillus or streptococ, but bacillus and coxy for sure. Going to be our predominant species. Probably. Let's look one more zoom. I don't think it's going to help us any, but 400. <laughs> 400 zoom with a um, 400 total magnification. This is what you get. This is how you could see your bacteria. Um, do you see too much? Let's go maybe and see if we can get to the top of the slide and see. Eh, not very good. One thing that helps is if we dilute this down, your camera's uh, clarity gets a lot better, but I'm just, no, much better. Haven't diluted down enough yet. I should try though, um, so that I can count individual bacteria. So that's just pretty neat how we can, you know, monitor the soil and see what's going on in there. These are all so small. They're just bacteria. Um, soil particles, the bigger things, you know. Okay, so here's some uh, one here. Let's zoom him. He looks like an amoeba cyst because of this double wall here. It's hard to. Okay. It's kind of fuzzy being zoomed in that far. It's hard to get a good focus on the uh, cell walls. Let's see that there looks like another cyst. Whether it's a ciliate, flagellate, or an amoebae, it's kind of irrelevant. They're all protozoan right now. Okay, see this guy here? Maybe a big bacillus cyst. Um, super hard to see. Like, he may be that single outer cellular wall. I'm not sure if there, maybe it's a naked amoeba, but see how big it is? That's a cyst anyway. It's not active, so we won't. We wouldn't count that. But 
those always make me think those are the, um, there's another one right there, are the um, naked and maybe. But it's very possible that's a very huge slit cyst because I have seen a lot of huge ciliates sometimes. Um, but anyway, our flagellates are all dormant. See? See them? You guys probably can pick them out now. Cyst. 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 They're like shiners. Cyst. <laughs> Especially at this. Um, so like this here, this looks like a lactobacillus. And a lactobacillus here, gone dormant. Super fun. Okay, so then I can show you. Let's go over to the other slide and you can look and see how much more congested this one is. This has not been diluted down 50%. And it's just like, oh my gosh, I can't see hardly anything in here that I can focus on because it's just so congested. There's too much. This is a fungal strand here. There's another cyst there. It's kind of big. <laughs> Oops. I mean, you can barely touch this thing. And at this zoomed in at this, this. <laughs> when you're zoomed in like that much, you can't hardly touch this thing and you go way too far. So I just wanted to get a video of this. This is, I think, day three now on the pre-composter with the aeration system. I don't know how well the aeration system is working. I'm only charging the tank with air like two to three times a day. There's something there that must be actinobacteria swirling around like that. Um, so it may not be getting enough air and I need to work on that. And I also am not liking the fact that it's not getting warm or faster. Um, so I would say the entirety of the tank is at about oh, 115. And um, I'm not sure that's enough to kill those weed seeds or the um, pathogens. I know the school requires 130. So I'm only at 130 at one spot. And it's not a very big spot. So anyway, here is what you get when you are looking at it while it is actively composting. And things are dormant. Um... Mainly this here. <laughs> that is all just a ton. This is 400 total magnification, so ton of coxibacteria is our dominant species. Lots of cysts. So I can't wait. Oh, this little guy here showing this here. Definitely, I believe you can tell that is a testate amoebae. They're going dormant, it looks to me. She's closing up shop and building her cyst. Um, okay, well, that'll be it for this video I could just sit here and look around and for hours but I don't want to bore you all so we'll go ahead and stop the video and we'll be back with more we're going to keep monitoring this so we can just keep learning and learning and learning about what happens during the composting phase <laughs>